whole day. I appreciate that it must have been difficult to leave the house today. So th thank you for doing so and making the effort to be here. Interfaith Glasgow exists to support and develop um, engagement between Glasgow's diverse faith communities. We foster friendship building, dialogue and cooperation between those communities in order to tackle prejudice, misunderstanding and to foster um, mutual understanding and constructive engagement. So as I mentioned, this week we're celebrating Scottish Interfaith Week. Interfaith Week is really about celebrating Scotland's rich religious diversity and reaching out to others who may think and practice differently from ourselves so as to help create a better connected, more tolerant and more harmonious society for all. Today's event is about giving you a chance to socialise in a fun and friendly atmosphere with people from a diverse range of religious traditions so as to learn something about those traditions in the process. At each of the faith activity tables, you have the opportunity to make something associated with a particular religious tradition and to hear about the significance of what you're making from someone who belongs to that tradition. Now, the theme of this year's Scottish Interfaith Week is care for the environment in recognition of the importance of the Climate Change Summit, which will take place in Paris next week. So we've also organized a number of activities which relate to the, this theme. You can, for example, create your own ecosystem in a jar, just over there at the back. Um, you can hang a leaf on our tree art installation, which expresses your own views about why we should care for the environment. Or test how much kinetic energy is needed to make a fruit smoothie by having a go on one of our smoothie bikes just at the back over there. Um, I thought it was wonderful. There's lots of interesting people, lots of activities for children to do. I've met lots of friendly people. I've already been invited to just drop in any time at the Sikh temple for some lunch. She said anyone's welcome, so that's lovely. And had it explained to me why they had all um, beautiful lights and decorations up last week. And just really fun and happy and inclusive and spreading the love a little bit. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I think it's amazing. It's uh a great collection of people, a lot of different stalls, lots of different cultures and faiths represented and, and a whole lot of different people coming to see it so I, I think it's been uh, very successful. I love these events because it brings people together from all different faiths and cultures and languages, lots of families come, uh, it's a, a great time for the community to get together. I think it's fantastic, the um, energy is really great, it's a really nice uh, family feel, it feels like a really supportive environment and the kids seem to be uh, having a great time. I think that uh, there's a lack of kind of understanding within people and that kind of creates barriers within all of us. Um, so just kind of understanding more about what other people believe, um, I think it, it creates more harmony and I really believe that we're all brothers and sisters, we're all one. Um, so, you know, the only thing blocking us is our lack of understanding and that's why events like this today are really important. I think so, it's just lovely for all the faiths uh, and, the, and as they say, no faiths to actually, uh, actually all come together and an opportunity f in particular for, for families, you know, there was lots, lots of kids um, today so I think it's more of them, yeah, especially in today's climate where um, uh, as it, uh, Glasgow's uh, certainly host to so many different nationalities so now is the time for us all to uh, come together and be as one.